I like to think about it as I say industrial design is prototyping for mass production. And um, so think about anything as a man-made. As far as I'm concerned, there are two kind of things in this world. There's man-made stuff and there's what God has given us. And I'm saying that as long as there's something made by man, there has to be an initial prototype. And I'm saying that if one has been made before and then the gigantic amount of things that have been made by man, I'm saying I can redesign it and make it happen. All right, guys, we're at the Lagos G Garage here to meet with our spotlight guest for this episode. Let's go find him. Hey, what's up, man? I'm right. How you doing? I'm good, man. Yeah, so I'm Chewy from Pulse TV. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, finally, yeah, I get to meet you, man. Everybody say hi to AJ. Okay, so AJ, tell us about yourself, man. I'm a designer, really. I like detail. I'm observant. Um, I like to communicate as well. And I think that design is more like communication. It's just using different mediums. I started to do industrial design, and then I found the G-Guard space where I could um, unleash and then test out much of the designs I've been doing just virtually on my computer. And then I got to do all of this stuff. Nigeria, obviously, right now needs another source of income or, you know, making money, right? And I think that if we ventured into hardware technology, um, there's a lot of you know, buzz about software development and stuff, but I think that if we don't also pay some attention to hardware, there will be a lag eventually. We'll still have to rely on some people to provide us with the hardware. So I think we can start from here, we can start now, and I'm interested in making that happen. What is this here? What, is, what, what are we looking at today? Well, it's a broken down um, um, AC blower. Okay, you can see uh, it's broken right there. Look at how jacked up this thing is. Yeah. It's so broken down. You have tape around it. Yeah. This came from a car. What I did was to reverse engineer or reverse design. I see you had an attempt to redesign this. Yes. First one. That was the very first um, model I made and I printed it out. Um, a few errors, measurement errors and stuff like that, uh, material errors. And then I went back to my computer and I did another version of it and it produced this one. But that looks good. And then this one is, boom, the finished product. Yeah, that's good. What was the inspiration behind even designing Ben? Why didn't you design like shoes for your babe or, right. you know, a phone or all that kind of stuff? I revolve around cars. I like to find a problem and solve the problem. So the problem for me was my friend's car AC wasn't working properly. And so I said, well, what's wrong with it? And he said, this is what's wrong with it. And I said, that's what's wrong with it. I can solve it. Let me try and redesign it. You don't have to buy another one yet. Just give me some time and I'll try and work through it. And that's exactly what I did. So I just picked it up before I knew it. I already made this. What do you see your future like um, in the next, let's say 10 years? And to be will have a company manufacturing parts that are generated in Nigeria and that will employ a lot of people from Nigeria and would also help people to, talented people, to express themselves in ways that are productive to the country.